Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Now, the last episode, we had gone through the the trials, the puzzles, and that whole uh, cave area full of spiders and full of um, very, very interesting and dangerous navigation and opposition and guards. Only to find that at the end was essentially this thing called the map, the, basically like the map room, right? Um, which is designated that by Percival Rackham, who, <laughs> surprise, was actually there. Not not like physically, right? But there was large portraits. There was a number of large portraits, and he was one of the living portraits. It was actually Percival. We talked to him. Like, it was, it was a conversation. It was really interesting. And so, um, we, 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 kind of wanted to ask him a bunch of questions about everything like ancient magic and he verified he's like you can do that thing right the thing right and we're like you mean ancient magic yes and he's like okay all right okay cool you got the book go put it over there and we're like we don't have the book right now because we don't right um professor fig has it and we only have the missing pages and he's like uh oh, sorry can't do anything for you without the book Go get the book and come back. And it's like, okay, all right, <laughs> sure. And so, so unfortunately, because we don't have the book, Professor Fig has the book and he's gone. He's going to be gone for a while. We're going around doing some school stuff in the meantime, getting our, getting our education going, clearing out more stuff. So as you could tell exactly where we left off last time, we are going to flying class today. We're going to learn how a broom functions and then... Uh, there's a couple other things we're going to do, too. Right? There's a couple other things. But mainly, flying class. What happens after that? Well, we'll see. We can also learn to pulso, right? Which is requiring a focus potion and then also getting a maxima and an editor's potion and using them at the same time. As well as using a focus potion. And then, we can go back to Professor Sharp and learn to pulso. Which I feel like... Also, I don't know what that could do. It it sounds like repulse, but it's depulse, right? So maybe it's like a push, something like that. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, whatever that is, definitely going to make time to get it. But anyway, without t dragging this out any longer, <laughs> let's wait for class. Because this looks like it's going to be interesting. Oh, is everyone here? Well, look at you guys. Hanging around. Everyone's on time. But I was early. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. I was here since last night. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. <laughs> not a fan, I take it? Oh now. God. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. <laughs> up. Excellent. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up, up. Oh, we're we're like in such a different stupid. outfit. I, I just the look at the the look we have at the broom like yes like we're we're looking down on it up see just like that guys one leg over so there's a leg on each side none of that side saddle nonsense a gust of wind will throw you right off <laughs> none of that side saddle nonsense you straddle that broom here we go If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, 
Ground yourself at once. How do, you, how do we do that? You didn't teach us how to go down. Good. Now, for your first lesson, Whoa. fly through each ring in the courtyard. Oh, do God, this take is... take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in <laughs> one piece. This is brilliant. Ah. Okay. Oh, this is a I'm weird feel. This, this is weird to control. Oh, that's going to take some getting used to. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. This, this is... next set of rings will take you around the grounds. Hold R2 flight time. speed. Oh, God. What a view. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Nice day for a flight. Seems, seems to be. Huh, that wasn't Indeed, too uh, bad. Okay. Okay, so the left stick is to steer it. Uh, the old boathouse. Right Wish stick is really just up and down. The lake as the first year. Okay. We are real fancy. There we go. Okay. <sighs> I feel like I feel like we get the hang of this. Mm. It's going okay. Now Whoa. we just need a faster bird. Our resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> See, there are tentacles in the lake. I was right. I'm not crazy. I <laughs> fucking knew it. Ugh, that's why you don't go swimming out there. <laughs> this is rather fun. Oh, it's pretty neat. I like this. This is pretty cool. I hope we can actually do this whenever we want, not just for like little ring challenges. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high flying fun? High-flying fun. I like the sound of that. Won't we get in trouble? I like the sound of that. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Oh, boy. Breaking the, the rules. is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh god. Okay. Nice what? to get above it all, isn't it? Oh god. Okay, we're good. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common <gasps> windows just peek out. Bit Lovely. claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quick? Right? I think it's rigged. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, <laughs> even faster. Now that's more like it. You sure there you're not go. part Hippogriff? Hippogriff. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. <laughs> and the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? True. Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. It is pretty nice, yeah. Not gonna lie. <laughs> this was less chaotic than it seemed like he was implying. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Just like that. Nice. We're going fast. It doesn't feel like it, but looking at the map, it's like we're zooming. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Um. Oh, hello, uh, Professor. Around. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Oof. Class is finished for the day. 
embarrassing, dude. You fucked up. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Yes, ma'am. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hey. Thank you. Just panicking the whole time. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. I have no regret. Wish we hadn't gotten trouble. I mean, I wish we didn't get in trouble, but I mean, it was nice. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. Ooh. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yo. Shh, we can go buy a broom. We can? Can we? Can we? Do we have money? I mean, we have money, right? But can we, can we actually go? I'll go buy a broom. I'll go buy a broom right now. Okay. We just did this one, so... Ah, the other part of the armor. And then the mask. We get this yet? Not yet. That's interesting. What does that look like? Right? Like, let's say, let's like, um, let's change it all just to see. So we change that, right? Oh, nope. This. Okay, that's actually really cool. That, you know what? That's actually cooler than the armor is. Oh, shit. Does it look better without it, though? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Let's change the gloves. Ooh. But do they look better with these? Those are kind of cool. Let's rock this and see what happens. Because this is kind of this. Is, I really, I really like this. This looks really cool. I don't know about the cloak though. Like I like the cloak. Yeah. Yeah, why not? We'll do, we'll do this. It'll be good. It'll look good. It looks good. Get more more collections. Oh, okay. Do we get another talent point? We have two. <sighs> Temptation. Okay, so I'm understanding this now. A little bit better because it's not it's like this is level five but we must be able to cast a findo to unlock this talent right and then this we must be able to cast bombarda which we can ca we can learn how to cast bombarda that's fucking cool uh not the spoil but it's like i understand it's not just it's like we need to be the physical level to unlock it but we also need the spell to be able to obviously right so Makes a lot of sense. And then also, thanks for pointing it out. The 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 whole shield thing was like really about our tripping me up. <laughs> How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the defense against the dark arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Ooh. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. 
Nice. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Ooh. Everyone wants to talk to us right now, all at once. Interesting. Learn a curse with some. The fuck? Learn a curse with Sebastian. That sounds cool. Like we can say a swear. Meet Professor Weasley in the seventh floor corridor. We will definitely have to do those. And then. No way. I wonder what she wants. Yeah, when you name the. <laughs> That's interesting. We can get some gold. Okay, I. Okay, before I get. I'm gonna get like hella sidetracked. Just talking. So, I wanna say, uh, I appreciate pointing out the whole spell barrier shield thing because that was really uh, super getting me all twisted these last couple episodes. Because, <laughs> like. There's the the red, yellow, and purple barriers, and I'm like, I'm like, how do they function? And then, second, second, it was um, in the in the comments, it was like a purple, is for pur purple spells are for purple shields, yellow spells are for yellow shields, red spells are red shields. It made so much sense, because I was like, okay, why does, you know, Accio work on some of them but not on the other ones? And it all made sense, and it all clicked, and I'm like, ah, thank you. Makes a huge difference. <laughs> so I would like less out there. I'm trying to figure out like what the hell am I doing? What am I doing? So the next time we fight, I will be slightly better. I'll be slightly better. Because while I have the knowledge, it's about my ability to act on that knowledge. Can we go in here now? Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Yeah. Hi. Oh. Oh, sh what? Revelio. Yeah, just gonna go ahead and make this. Spent Witch's Sporting Needs. Run by the amiable Alby Weeks. The shop sells all manner of witchery, witch <laughs> wizarding. Sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Those are some wild looking brooms. The Tut tut Shill Tornadoes. Huh? <gasps> a quaffle. Wow. Patterned Turban. That's fun. I love, I love that. I love all the hats. It's really cool. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few <laughs> rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows, Wind Wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. I am ready to drop some cash. But I guess we'll ask you these first. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. <laughs> right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Oh, you got it. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Wind Wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the u ones darker reputation. Then you add the hmm. Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Ooh. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. So you love somebody that loves their work. That's beautiful. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. It's gonna break my heart if I can't afford them. What are we looking for today? Okay, I got five grand. 
Oh, thank God, they're cheap. Well, not this one is. Oh, okay. They're all actually the same price. <laughs> so, uh, Ember Dash Broom. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Hogwarts House Broom. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts House pride. So, like Hufflepuff. Moon Shrimmer Broom. Finely crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. Wind Wisp. Stylish broom with a light touch. Quite literally. And then a U Weaver. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. Interesting. Can we. That item is of the highest <gasps> quality. Ooh. Okay, cool. Like that we can actually see them. Well, that's neat. Right, that's this. That that's item this one. Is of the highest quality. It's got the little bags on it and everything. That's wild. Stylish broom. That item is of the highest quality. Such an interesting appearance. I honestly like this one because of the the little uh, the fiery bit on the end. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I feel that. Thank you. Nice doing business with you. Okay. Go ahead and sell these since we're here. Okay. No, I didn't really need the you know, those other gloves. It's fine. These, yes. Okay. Pretty you. Basically clear out everything because we're going to be getting new stuff here probably really quickly. <laughs> okay. 6,500. We have money. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Oh, Go yeah. on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. Ooh. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As okay. it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That's a lot, dude. <laughs> so, so you, you only go and go to these, like, abandoned areas and then fly around to get the best time and then you'll be able to do your thing. How did your passion for brooms begin? Why am I the right person for this? You took Madame Kagawa's class. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers maneuver the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Oh, I mean, I can feel it. Your passion is... It's so obvious. It's cool, though. You made that in a good way. Like... Man lives for what he does. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no yeah. bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumored talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Okay. Sounds cool. as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spin witches now. 
I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Hey, you know what? If I can help you and you're gonna help me, this is a... This is a healthy relationship. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you! It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The like time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Sweet, flight test. Uh, so Hogsmeade and certain other areas prohibit flying. Damn it. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. True. Revelio. You hiding anything in here, sir? Anything else, huh? Alright. I didn't think so. Carry on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, fine, I'll go this way. I'll go the other way around. My mother used to Revelio. Okay, that's you. What are you? You're a lock? Okay. Accio! Incendio! Oh, Nope, guess not. For you. Okay, well, we got a broom. Sweet. We can't fly in Hogsmeade, which is unfortunate. How do I? Once we once we get out of here, how do I pull up the? How do I pull out the broom? How do I broom? Oh. Sweet. I, lo I love the, f the little ember. The emberness. Wow. See, th this is what it's all about. This is why we do what we do. This is what the game is all building up to. It's really just this. Ah. It's nice. Good shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, so relaxing and comfortable. Just chilling in the very cold, probably moist air. Right? Oh, Jerome. Shit. Oh, God. Just like that. That's cool. Each uh, the different uh, the different houses. It's kites. That's neat. Okay, now focus again. We've had about forty-five seconds of fun. Let's go. Uh, let's go meet Professor Weasley. It's the right thing to do. Right. Let's go here, and then we should be able to go upstairs, up the way. Because she's giving us a place that we can actually Revelio. do stuff. Okay, it's all upstairs. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Maybe. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. <laughs> Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. 
I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? My idea it sounds intriguing. I'm not sure it's worth my time. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Where do you suggest I search first? Excellent. Hmm. Excellent. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Ooh. So, door, dragon thing. This, th I've seen this. We've seen this. Is it going past it or is it pointing to it? It looks past. Use Accio on this portrait. Interesting. That sounds like it'd be neat. Ooh, that's cool. Accio! Nope. There we go. Going. Rebellion. Anyway, no, that was I just saw the the little ceiling. I thought that was really cool. This this shit. These are wild. I need to actually like focus on those when we when we do. I think we can. I think we're capable of like actually doing them all, but Revelio. what could that possibly be? Incendium. Nope. Accio. Leviosa. Ooh, shit. That was a shot in the dark. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, challenge complete. Another challenge. This one? Collect 15. Yep, we get a new hat. Yeah, that one almost. Okay. Anyway, back to focus. Revelio. Is anything up here? Ooh, that's cool. Very cool. All these fun little things. Professor Weasley? Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. It's a random spot. All right. All right. Ooh. This is where it is. That's... Forgive me. The headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Interesting. That's cool. That's good. She's actually like, you know what? Here's a good spot for you. And just like, just go ahead and use it. The whole thing. <laughs> oh, this needs some. What is this place? Storage this closet. This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? Mm. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. 
it's wild. It's huge. But I'm also just like, what was... You're like, oh, when someone really needs it, it's like, y'all need... Y'all need some place to store shit? Like, you'll... The fuck? Why are we keeping this chair? What the hell is this? Do we not have enough cauldrons? Is this... Are we really in this need of many... But I could... You know what? Let me clean this place out. I think we could get rid of... Get a dumpster? We can get rid of this in, like, a day. We don't need all this. Professor. Can we be real? It's a lot of... Sh this is a lot of clutter. Do we really need this many bookcases? Like, you got one dragon globe there. There's no chance I'm covering no right over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. I was like, I got like, Lefioso. I got Incendio. I could take care of those chairs real quick. But I guess this is better. It's fine. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on the. Okay, this thing. Um, do it up there for now. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. I was Let's say, I got, a, I got a lot of Moonstone. I think, right? I feel like we got a lot of Moonstone. Yeah, I've been stacking Moonstone. <laughs> so, whatever it's actually for. You know. Got it. Where Yo. in Merlin's name is that elf? I'm just gonna start making... I'm gonna make all this shit disappear, Professor. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. This is my point. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Let's see, yes, this Professor. Is exactly my point. Y'all don't need all this shit in here. I don't care if it's infinite space. It might be. Who knows? But, because that goes... It's big. Just saying. Just saying. Clean this place out. A. Hey. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely. T. Ooh. Sneaking around. Leaving notes for each other. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. You know what? Okay, you're lucky that doesn't work on you. You're so lucky. I'll just disappear all of you. Apparently I can only do it with chairs right now. For now. I get all of you. Ugh. Oh, these are creepy. Akio. Okay. What can I... Is there anything under there? No. Why would you? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> We are not that thirsty. This is not that bad. Just pick up, like, the oldest, most rank tea that exists. You just sip it. Not even a fucking thought. Come on, man. That's... Oh, God, that was gross. Ew. 
Stylish vest, school uniform. <laughs> Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. I don't know, man. Levioso, helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Jesus. That's right. Good. Give it a good trim. A bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. That's right, because the rumor requirement sets itself up for what you need. So... That's funny, but... Right now, it's a, it's a storage closet. And... I'm not sure how that's going to help us, exactly. But maybe there's some... <coughs> Something How here. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Like, Deke's obviously going to show us something. Wherever he is. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Akio. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to ack you. The golden snitch. Wait, how did that house elf can find us in here? Just hanging out in here. Okay, maybe... Now, if we could pull that out, maybe there's another secret. Oh. Quidditch stuff. Revelio. Well, yeah, I'm not using Revelion here at all. Oh, not good. <laughs> Ooh, shit. How do I? Ooh. Akio. Interesting. Okay, there's two of these. Can I... Ah, oh, there's a puzzle to this. So maybe, do I go in here? Akio! Akio, are you back in here? Think about that. That makes a lot of sense. Revelio. Ooh. It's a flu station. Nice. Oh, is he up there? There he is. Just hanging out. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Seems Deke nice. is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room, like I did. 
David, cool. would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Interesting. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. We imagined it like this. In a way. Okay, that doesn't seem safe. This is much nicer. <laughs> You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. This is nice. This is good. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh, one should yeah. always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You've unlocked the Dusk of Description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any other different gear you've collected. Nice. We have one piece. Oh, it's a tan cloak. Revelio. You'll find plenty <laughs> of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Has this been ignited yet? No. Not yet. Oh, do you not gotta clean that? Did I not imagine it clean? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. I thought you said the room would give me everything I need. But... Okay, understood. Interesting conjuring, though. I mean, that's, that's a cool alternative. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list mm. the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Oh, Where yeah. can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Okay, cool. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Sweet. Oh, so these. Boom, get it out of here. Boom, get it out of here. Nice. I mean, I got a lot of, got a lot of potions anyway. Uh, 
or not potions, moonstone. Potions, items used to brew potions, herbology, utility, wall hangings. So, items used to brew potions, rugs, furniture, decorations, uh, room of requirement, artwork, seasonal, that's cool, statues, tables, and seating. Okay, potions? <gasps> Ooh. Small scientific potions. Small botanical potions. Small eclectic potion station. And a small gothic one. These are cool. So wait, are these... Do these all function the same? They just look different? Or these actually create, like, different types of potions? That's cool. <gasps> Stop. Seriously? That's so cool. Okay, uh... Change color. Stop. Come on. That's so this is so this is so cool. I didn't realize it was this in depth. Like it's nothing crazy, but it's still like that's super neat. Okay, so I imagine Yeah, I think these are all the same style. Or they do the same thing, they just look different. Right? So small tip with uh Perfect for growing a plant that requires a small pot, small pot, small pot. Small. Okay, so these are also... I don't know, I like, I like the, the gothic looks. They look cool. So, a little, little gothic style. Neat. And color. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, cool. of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Cool. I got, you know, one above every, every wall. Not above every wall, but one on the walls. Can I do rugs? I don't have any rugs yet. This? Oh god, there's gonna be so much stuff we can do. Painting. Do we have any furniture? We don't have furniture. We gotta buy furniture. Seasonals. We can have a Christmas tree. And Jack O lanterns. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Cool. This is cool. This is awesome. I love I love that you can actually place them. So and the fact that you can place more than one. Because I know that ta the table and the tables can only do like one thing at a time. So if I want to do two, I would do two tables. Interesting. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? I'm imagining. He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Okay, got it. Can I use tr transfiguration magic anywhere? Ooh, good question. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. Damn it. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Damn it. I was like, I've started vanishing things every... Can you imagine you use vanish on just some someone? Just send them into... I don't even know what happens to them. 
Just get sent to like purgatory. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Um, yeah. You will learn me the magics. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I got too much. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much you need? I got a lot. I got enough to already return. Cool. Uh, let me see if I could actually just start a potion brewing while yeah get get these going while um while we while we learn the next thing i i love the gothic it's so cool it's so neat okay anyway focus focus i have the moonstone you requested professor good then we may begin your lesson you can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. What do we do? Conjure wall decorations, conjure floor decorations. Sweet. Oh, you gave us rugs. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Scientific, botanical, eclectic, gothic. We just gotta keep with the, the gothic style. <laughs> this would be good to put it in front of our thing, right? Maybe this is gonna look a, like a terrible <laughs> putting it there. And maybe this is probably not the best in case it catches fire. Hello? Okay, I understand. I understand. I just how precise can I get it? Boom. Okay. Ooh, decorations. Oh yeah, let's do. Let's go. Right in front of the bookcase there. Right in front of there. Excellent. And one. I guess, like, yeah, put it in symmetrical, right? I did not make these purple. God damn it. <laughs> I know the, the red kind of works. It's nice. Okay. There's not really a way for me to replace them. I just gotta... I'll, I'll change them later. <laughs> I'll change them later. It's fine. Okay, what do we got? Posh portraits. Niffler and Witch, Gazing Wizard, Dapper Wizard, Bickering Couple, Gazing Witch, Ourselves Mistress, Baby and... <laughs> I, don't know about, I don't know about artwork yet. Ooh, shit. Nice. I put it in front of the... Just... I feel like it looks nice. Right? Um, what else do we have? Just put it right in the middle, huh? 
Yeah, why not? What did you give us? Long mirror, oval, and winged mirror. Can I see how low can I get it? And then I don't want to spend too much time, but I think this is neat. This is really neat. Cool. Collect our potion. Let's see. Uh, yep. Get another one, uh, another wig and weld going. Oh, that's still that's still growing. Okay, because we only have one wig and weld potion, so we really should kind of top up on our situation. Okay, two down, another. I think, like, we can... Like, how many can we hold? I think it was... Four? Maybe not. I have to make another wall decoration. Okay. I'll do that after this. Just get that brewing, anyway. Um, let's give us another wall decoration. Uh, leave it that. Why not? Just kind of like right in the middle. Shall we move on? Uh, yes. Excellent. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Ah, you okay. can change the There's colors, hope. patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay, because I was wondering, I was like, oh, do I have to like take the item away and then redo it? Nice. You can actually just alter them. Cool. A lot of customizability in here. A lot of just useful. Aim your wand at any Yep. And perform the altering to customize it. Oh, okay, I can I can fix this. And you can change their style too. That's neat. So if you like the placement, you can just completely change. Oh, no no. Nope. Sweet. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Very, uh, very strong, uh, purple motif. <laughs> Wait, adjust the size of an item. Interesting. Okay, um, table. Nope, rug. Table? No, rug. Table. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so let's place that there. I want to change the size of the rug. Nope. There we go. Oh god, it shifted. My symmetry. Okay. Okay, let's bring you back. <laughs> so tiny. Alter the style.
Whoa, wait. We can change the actual floor? No shot. That's so cool, but we can't do it yet. Okay, so style. Right? Like that. Nicely done. Now I'm ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. <gasps> Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst you Oh my god, she actually I was just literally looking at it. Botanical central floor, that's cool. It's like stone centric. Fancy. Gothic. I just like the way it looks. Your space might right? be Look at that. a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. So we can change the bat. Come on, really? Oh my god. There's so much more to this than I thought. I'm sorry, it's it's all just it's all gonna be gothic. Just think it looks cool. So, I'm sorry, this is so fucking cool to me. Look at that! There's so much, there's so much customization. It's a whole ass beehive looking. That's cool. Stop, wait. There is so much of this room. Akio. Oh. There's so much of this room that could be changed. I love that it really is like you can actually really style it in a way you like. I feel like this is totally different than it was. No. Come on, really? Oh my god. Okay, well... Yeah, I've already decided on the scheme and the colors. So I just go ahead and... Get those. But Scientific Botanical is really nice. Honestly, I think the second that I would go for is probably the botanical because it's really nice. I might I might change all this later. Just right now this is it just feels so much more like castle vibe. Right. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Ooh, a cool moonlit ambiance. Sounds perfect. Natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. I do like the idea of the cool moonlit ambiance, but dark and mysterious sounds interesting. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, <laughs> surrounded by shadows. Yes. Mm, sounds perfect. He didn't blink once. No way. No shot. Mm, quite a difference. <laughs> of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. 
No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Well, she's like, hmm, this is the, this is what you picked, huh? Well, this is what it's your room. What? Wait, are there more rooms? No. An even bigger space. <laughs> How did that happen? Holy shit. The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Oh my god. There is so much space Most here. Most excellent. Okay, can I change? Can I change that? I can even change those specific. Really? That's so cool. So wait, I can change this statue. See, that's cool. That's cool as hell. going with that that's fits the vibe nope this one gothic alcove creepy dark and intriguing i'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience of course eh. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? I want to know what this moonlit thing is, because that sounds like nice. the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. There, there it is. There it is. That's the look. There it is. That is so, oh, it's so pretty. It's so, it looks amazing. That was it. That was it. I knew it. I was like, the, the moon feels like such the right vibe. That's cool. Oh, that kind of blocks all the moonlight out. Oh, that's cool. I like how high it is. It's very t This is so cool, man. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Holy shit. Okay. We gotta go down here and check out what's going on. I could change every single port. Oh my god. Jesus. Is that. This is insane. This is actually kind of nutty. There's so, so much shit. There's so much here. This is cool. Okay. Okay, what? Revelio. There's nothing to be revealed. But. Let's go ahead and. Bam. 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 Oh god. I'm just. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> just fucking making it all disappear. Okay, those. I can still change the color. I'll leave these. Okay. I am. This room. This room is great. Did we learn how to conjure new stuff? Ah, <gasps> we did. What do we got? Ooh, she. Nice.
And I can do a second one. That's cool. Okay, what's this? Yeah. Ooh, gold herbology trophy. Golden trophy reflecting excellent work in herbology. Uh, I'll put this right here. Where it deserves to be. Heck yeah. Okay, I think that's all we got for right now. This is nice. Very cool. Take another one. So we have five. See, now I don't actually remember how many we can actually hold. Hmm. We'll find out. Six. I well, we guess get as many as we can. And then... And if we're done here, we can go talk to Sebastian. And he can teach us something. A curse, I guess. Right? Is that... Is that what we were told? Yep. Confringo. Confringo? I don't even know what that is. Confringo. Confringo. I mean, the, the image looked like it was something exploding. It looked dangerous. I like it. Could be really cool. Alright. So I think... Okay. <laughs> Just like how it disappeared. I was like, what? Put that to kind of make in the background. That's nine. We have nine. Astronomy tower. Just right outside. Revelio. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. <laughs> well, we got another talent point. That's cool. Did it actually just show up? That's neat. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, I was like, yeah, his, it should be kind of getting an... It's a big castle. But I kind of get the idea of some of the layout. It's still... It's just, it's going to be something that's just going to have to take, like, a lot of laps to, like, really get Rebellion. used to. But I'm very... This is very interesting, though. Sebastian wants to teach us... Or we can... See what he wants. But it's going to end up with teaching a curse. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. Mm -hmm. I'm on the right track. Right, which showed the arrow pointing this way. Which could be a number of things. Revelio. See, where is that? Hear it. There it is. Ha. Ah. <laughs> 17 Beast Window. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a Serpentine Beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary Green Man. Very nice. Very pretty. Sebastian. Over so, here. Hey, what's up, dude? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. 
Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Interesting. Shadow of the Undercroft. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Interesting. Aside from the hinges, you know, it's actually fascinatingly hidden. How did you find this place? My friend, right. Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play golfstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. Aww. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Nice. Don't worry. We don't even feel like to talk to half these people here. Don't you even... Don't even worry about it. We we have, like, one friend. You know? So, like, it's 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 all good, dude. It's like, is this a chest? Yo. Nice. Revelio. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, don't worry. I will not tell a single person about this place. Not even... Not even a worry, dude. We're all good. It's kind of actually a cool hangout. Not gonna lie. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Huh. Ollivander always says... The wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, Ooh. mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Oh, shit. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the oh, Undercroft <laughs> has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. This may be, you may be a bad influence on me sometimes, but I embrace it. That's ridiculous. It does sound dangerous. That's ridiculous. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. <laughs> but you should Same. learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. <laughs> Confringo. Oh. Oh. There we go. Bam. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the... Best to keep the Undercroft intact. <laughs> Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, 
but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. It fires an explosive blast. Confringo! Nice work! <laughs> How's it feel? Oh, shit. It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Yeah. 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 Cool. Like, okay. Obviously, Incendio. Big flame, right? Big good, big good flame. This thing fires a flame. I know they're both different circumstances, especially because Incendio seems to be a little bit bigger, but the fact that this has distance is like, ooh. Yes. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. Oh, God. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. True. It's almost too much. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Ooh, Haven't been shit. here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Oh, I'd be glad to. Just let yeah. me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Excellent. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. It's... And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I like he's he's like he's like, yeah, those those but he didn't he didn't forget. He paid attention. Uh, God, we really do be telling everybody we meet about everything. Like, holy shit. <laughs> um, like, Natty, we do trust, though. Right? Truly. And Sebastian, I... I'm... I do like... I think he's pretty cool. I don't get any bad vibes from him. It's not yet. Right? It has nothing to do with him being in Slytherin. Like, that's not... There's no, like preconceptions about that it's like him as a person seems fine you must promise to keep this between us i trusted you with knowledge that of the means bad. you can trust me all right i can see traces of ancient magic ancient magic <sighs> i don't know what i was expecting you to say but it wasn't that what does that even mean honestly i'm not entirely certain all I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And oh. this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Sir. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Thanks. Oh, I I'm like we don't know we don't know yet, but I get a weird vibe when he when he asked about like maybe we can help each other out. Like, he's been studying ancient, like, archaic forms of magic. I worry that there might be a parallel forming between him and then that girl we saw in, like, the flashback, right? And it's like, her her brother was sick when she was young. And these guys had ancient magic and couldn't do anything, right? So I'm th my this is all theory, right? If we can wield ancient magic... 
and he knows about what ancient magic could be, or he learns about it, whatever, what it can do, maybe he's like, oh, can we use that to help cure my sister? And then we're like, I don't know if it works like that. But it's like, I, I don't know, I worry that that may be the route that happens, and I feel like that would kind of really tarnish this friendship, to be honest. So I hope... I mean, if it can help her, cool. But I don't even know if we can wield it like that. It kind of seems like really random right now. You know? Oh, shit. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Oh, awkward. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, fuck. Oh, see, this is one of those things where he's like, don't, don't tell, don't tell him. We, he wasn't even supposed to know we knew, and now we know. And it's like, is it more fucked up if we say Sebastian? Because it's the honest answer. Because if we say I stumbled upon it, is he going to take it like, like, okay, I just happened to, which is fine, right? But then he finds out we lied to him, and it makes us even more untrustworthy. <sighs> Sebastian promised. And we're not going to be that guy. He, we don't care if this guy doesn't like us. We don't want to fuck up things for Sebastian. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. Yes. My father is friends with the headmaster. Oh, there we go. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Your father? <laughs> Look... Look, bro, I don't fuck, I promise I'll say anything. No need for threats. Chill, dude. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Well. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Well, this has been unpleasant. This has been an unfortunate, unfortunate confrontation. Oh boy. Oh, we can't even go in there. Oh no. He's gonna be so mad. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. Okay. Well. I'll let that kind of happen itself. Um, so, in the meantime, how do we acquire a focus potion? Can we... Let's see, can we go to... Let's go over to Hogsmeade. I think maybe we can buy one. Right? That's what I'm, I'm hoping we can do, at least. Right, tomes and scrolls. Pippin's potions. That's what we we're looking for. Bam. Spent a little bit of money. And then also see about the whole delivery magic. thing. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, oh, do see me after class. <sighs> Wingardium Leviosa. So, so better than Levioso. Oh, that's gonna Come be interesting. On Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you need any? <laughs> J. Pippin's potions. I missed this the first time. God damn it. Established 1753. It's the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Let's buy, let's buy some stuff first. Today? 
Focus potion. A white Great. decision. Thank you. Uh, Maxima potion. Yeah, let's just buy them all. Having all the recipes is good. Um, a key ingredient to the Maxima potion. A wise decision. Thank you. Be able to have everything we need for the Maxima potion. And then troll boat for invisibility. Ew. Gross. Let's see. Oh, we can just straight up buy a potion. Buy maximum a potion. Wise decision. Thank you. Focus. Do we have? I'll buy one. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. That way we can do the, the whole potion thing, because we can acquire and use ma Focus, Maxima, M and Edoras all at the same time. Boom. Excellent. God, we are juiced. <laughs> I can only imagine how powerful we are. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Pippin. Oh, that was you cool. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Yeah. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Ooh. She sounds annoying. <laughs> I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Ooh. Could be a future potion inquiry. All right. Okay, how far is that? Okay, uh... Okay, world... World map. Oh my god. That's quite the ways. We'll put that on our list. <laughs> Things to do. Attend potions class during the day. Ooh. Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Or use a mandrake on multiple enemies at once. Okay. Okay, so we don't have. Well, well next time we get into somewhere where combat seems to definitely be a thing, I will 100% make sure to remember to try and get a mandrake and pay attention to where we can get a. Uh, the other one, the Tentacula. Because Wingardium Levioso. Wingardium Leviosa. God damn it. It's Leviosa. I should have known. Literally just said it. Uh. Anyway, Professor. I was hoping to see you. Where are you? Because I've been studying. <laughs> You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldridge Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well, 
She took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisbe. You went to Azkaban? Quite an experience. <laughs> but you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died, so I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was Literally. a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Fantastic. Hell yeah. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And yep. Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Literally. <laughs> okay, can I? Can bring up. For, for ambience. Ambience. Ambiance. Nice. I'm glad that we're here already. That was convenient. <laughs> we have the book this time, so that means we're going to hear. It's going to be nice. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just go. Let's do this. To think it was beneath us all this time. Such an incredible room. He's... Hello? Oh, it's... He's like, yeah, we're not talking until you put the bug up. promising. to see this. Mm. Yeah. What's his name? Miriam? So it's called the map room because it has a map of the area. But you needed the book to unlock this, but why? Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. Yeah. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall oh. the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I do. I can't recall it fully. I do. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Mm -hmm. 
Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you Jesus. have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. Oh boy. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Hell yeah. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? This is neat. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I believe I have. Have we seen it? Something that's further off. It's not. It's not near Hogwarts. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well traveled <laughs> as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. See there, do you know anything about the tower? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. This is interesting. So there's going to be there's going to be four trials that we have to get through in order to kind of prove ourselves in a way, right? And that's basically to show that the person that they're waiting for, right? The person who can see traces of ancient magic is not going to abuse this power right in some way so i imagine it's not going to be all explicitly combat right like or i would imagine maybe it is right maybe it is maybe it's maybe some morality choices i don't know we'll see i'll find you at the tower as soon as i can until then be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going right we gotta go to the tower because okay okay so that's there that's it's time you learned mm. Glacius, the freezing spell <gasps> it is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation but first I will need you to complete a few tasks once you've done that come and see me freezing spell no way i'm sorry i know like we're there's so much happening right now i love it okay what is this pop balloons over hogsmeade station pop balloons around the quidditch pitch use my broom to reach and pop the, pff, done and done ma'am don't you even think that that's gonna be a problem so we gotta go over we gotta go over to the trial tower oh that's gonna be neat we got a lot going. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, we're going to pick this up in the next episode where we're going to go and we're going to go do this trial and because this is this is Hogwarts, right? Because there's the Quidditch pitch. Right, and then Hogsmeade's right there. Hogsmeade's right here and just north is this tower. I'm pretty sure we've seen it but we've never gone over there. So this is going to be interesting. And I don't know what the trial could be. Like, like the impression just gives off like, oh, we're going to go in and then we're going to fight a bunch of stuff. And then it's going to be like, cool, you're good. But I feel like maybe because they want to make sure it falls into the right hands, right? So maybe the person they, they want doing these isn't someone who's going to be all fight. So I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to find out. So thank you again for watching. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. This is very, very intriguing. Like, like on top of this, we got other spells we got to go learn. We got to go to potions class. So there's, there's always something we got going on, which I find is really neat. So I look forward to more. So thanks again for watching. Seriously. Really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.